Hey guys, it's Rye. This is gonna be a very short video, but hopefully a helpful one to the people who need to see it. This is gonna be an absolute basic series where we're pretty much just gonna cover the very, very basic things if you wanna get involved in Lec Mod, if you wanna get involved in Multiplayer Civ, where do you start? The first place is how do you install Lec Mod in the first place? Well, this is assuming you're a part of the Civilization No Quitters group. If you're not, I would highly recommend you join this uh, first. You can search it online. Um, you know, you, it'll tell you how to join the group here. And the main thing is when you're joining, you have to have you know about a hundred or so hours, and then set your profile to public and game details to public. These are the most important things. So just do that, and then you'll figure out how to join the group from there. But okay, let's say you're a part of the group. Then what? We're gonna scroll down. Um, you'll see that if you go into the announcements, there's usually a bunch of announcements, but in this case, we're only going to really be caring about like mod version updates. Um, you know, you can find the change log, uh, download the mod directly, etc. Okay. So let's pull that up. We can get prompted with some of this, some of this stuff. And here we go. This is what the mod looks like. We're going to press download. Download anyway. I already have it downloaded, so you're not going to worry about that. And you're going to have the zipped file. One other thing you're going to need is you're going to need the map. And honestly, this is almost more important than... Um, this is almost more important <laughs> than the mod itself. Because the map changes more than the mod does, in my opinion. So, you know, we're... You know, we this is this is the change log. You can find the like mod main page, the download. Um, you know, here's the mod. But if we were looking for the map specifically, you know, we might have to scroll down a little bit, depending on if the map was also changed. Um, you know, it'll come here. So there wasn't a. Uh, you know, if this isn't included, you can always find it here. This this version has a new map. Okay, so we need to get this map. Um, so these are the same links, so we can just grab them here. And the map should not be a big download whatsoever. It should actually be very small. Okay. So we're going to go here. Okay, cool. Now we have these two files. This is very important. We're going to go into this. We're going to press extract all. Okay. Actually, you don't even need to extract them. I'll show you what to do. So once we're here, I like going into my library, going into the properties of Civ 5 local files and then press browse. And then you should have something like this. Um, everything's gonna be found in this assets folder. You'll see I have um, UI on here and stuff, but for the most part, we just need to f focus on the, for now we'll do the maps. So let's assume we don't have this maps and this is what our maps folder looks like. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our downloads tab, open up Lec map and copy and paste it in. All right, it's that easy. Just make sure when you're clicking it, there's no, it's not a nested folder. You're just having that one folder, okay? So that's maps. Now your map's installed, congratulations. Um, and then right here we have LecMod. So I'm gonna delete LecMod. This is a bigger file. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Do, but let's go there. Now I'm just going to, again, the exact same approach. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. Um, so it it's a bigger file. Like I said, there's like 4.5K 4, 4, 4. items in this thing. Um, it's like about a gig. So essentially, we're just going to be waiting here for this to finish. Uh, but this is this is where you put your maps. You're not looking anywhere else. You know, it, it, it's if you want to change any mods, right? If you have, a, you know, if you're doing skirmish, if you're doing weavy, if you're doing whatever, this is the exact same process. Um, you're just kind of putting everything in here, and then once this is done, we'll load up Civ, and then that's pretty much it. This is a very short, quick little 
video on how, on how to do this. Um, it shouldn't take long. It shouldn't be a hard process. The most important thing I think people don't realize is that they're copying, pasting um, zipped files. So just make sure if you're you know doing it, you're copying the unzipped version, or you can extract it and then copy that in. But for the most part, you don't need to do that. The files are small enough that you can kind of just copy and paste them in. So we have assets, we have DLC. Let's see if we can load a game. So my Civ, um, for whatever reason, takes a while to load, but uh, it's, you know. Here we go. Also, make sure you're not in Civ when you're doing this. This should kind of go without saying. It doesn't make sense. You shouldn't. You wouldn't be able to change all that stuff without, you know, um, while inside the, the 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 game. So just make sure you close out of Civ. You don't have anything open when you're making these changes. If you did have it open, just restart. It's not a big deal. All right, and I'm going to show you guys quickly how to confirm you installed it properly. So if we go to multiplayer, standard, internet. Oh, my God, I'm getting a taskbar, but okay, there it is. Um, I have a preset save, um, you know, when because I host a lot. But on the top bar up here in the green, you'll see I'm on LecMod version 31.4. That is the latest version. And then my map, I'm on V4.2. If any of these do not line up, you have installed it incorrectly. Okay, check your maps here, etc. But it's th it's really this easy. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm sure someone will be able to help you. But yeah, until next time.